Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got a gigantic, humongous, ginormous Dollar Tree haul for you. Okay, I don't, it's not that big, but it's pretty darn fantastic. I'm super excited. I bought some tea, not from Starbucks. I'm just reusing a cup. I bought Tivana, which I think is Starbucks. I bought a bottle of it, unsweetened with Meyer lemon. Oh, it's way too lemony. Yeah, it's too much, too much, but I'll drink it. All right, I think I've touched every season of Halloween's giving mess. I'm adding the must because now we got Christmas going on. But let's start at the beginning. We'll start with some storage. Um, I grabbed this, it's a dish rack, but I'm gonna use it under my kitchen or my cabinet for some pan lids. I'm hoping it will hold them in a good condition. It's four pan plates, but it's I think it's sturdy enough that it'll hold the pots and pan lids upright so they're not falling out every time I go in my cabinet. And if it works, I may get a second one, but we'll see. So I grabbed that. Um, I grabbed this bucket, look at this blue. Clearly I'm obsessed with blue right now, although I've always liked blue. Um, this is actually for a Halloween. I say party, it's not a party. My cousin and her daughter and a couple friends and Sarah, my niece and I are gonna get together and watch Hocus Pocus. So I'm making some treats and one of the treats is gonna go in this bucket. And when we get to the Halloween stuff, I'll show you some other things to go along with it. Um, but I'm kind of obsessed. And they also have all the fall colors, but I love this the best. Got it, okay. My store finally got these metal baskets in the gold. Um, I didn't get the paper size, but I did get this size, which honestly, I feel like this would be perfect to put like a potted plant in, but that's not what I'm using it for. I'm gonna make gift baskets at Christmas time in these. How fun is that? I'm just gonna line them with tissue paper and put the gifty stuff inside and wrap them up. So I grabbed two round ones. And then uh, for maybe some other ideas, I've gotten two other rectangles. These are nice. They're not huge, but I think they are perfect size to hold some gifts. So I'm going to put these with my gift wrapping stuff, unless I come up with another use for them. You can also um, put some like foam core board in the bottom and then take a ribbon and weave it around the outer of the basket and tie it off and that would make a fun basket for a gift as well. So there's that. I grabbed four all together uh, because I think I want to use a couple for storage and a couple for gifts is what I'm thinking. Then I grabbed, oh this is just some pink salmon. I've been in the mood for some salmon patties. Um, so I grabbed two cans of this. Thought it would be perfect for me. So we have that. Now in the kitchen section, I think I mentioned on a vlog, I needed new scissors. So I threw the old pair away and we're gonna see how these work. Um, kitchen shears, so I'm thinking they'll be fine. So I grabbed a set of those. If they don't work, they have to be better than what I have. That's kind of how I think about that. Then I grabbed these, I grabbed two of them. I don't think I've ever seen them at my store. But you put marinade in here and then you can inject it into your turkey, your roast, chicken breast. I just thought that was fantastic. I did grab two just because I'm not sure. Like I said, I've never seen them before. And um, yeah, they hold 30 milliliters. And then if they don't work great for that, crafting. You always need little things like this for crafting. So I have two, but they'll go with my kitchen stuff. Now, this little gem here, I am, I'm annoyed, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not annoyed. So a friend of mine had a Pampered Chef party and they sell some this item. I think they were the originals, maybe. Anyway, I paid $25 to have it and it's gonna be mailed to me. And I just found these at the Dollar Tree and it's the same thing. These are great, mashes up your hamburger in your pan, like it breaks up your ground beef, ground meats. I'm gifting these for Christmas, but I'm still annoyed. I mean, I'm not annoyed, annoyed, but I was like, are you kidding me? I just spent $25. But I grabbed them because I had not seen those before either. Um, Seasonal, I don't know. I think they had these last year, but I never saw this color 
Look at this boho scarf, guys. And it has the tassels at the end. It's fantastic, but, and I might wear it as a regular scarf, although I'm thinking this would make a pretty fantastic gnome, just a winter gnome. The hat, heck, I could get several gnome hats out of this. Look at the colors, so rich and vibrant, and it's a pretty long scarf as well. And it feels like it would be warm. If I were to um, want to wear it, I might buy two and stitch them together just to make it a little thicker, but it's nice. I think, here's the front. I think this is pretty darn fantastic for $1 hex to the yeah. And they had other colors too, but I just grabbed this one because I feel like even for Valentine's Day, and there's a little flex of gold. This would make a fantastic Valentine's Day gnome or a scarf for my mantle because it's all pinks and reds. So I grabbed that, it's just regular life stuff, you know. Now I found a couple things. I have two sets of these. I also have the little tiny ones for paper crafting, but these are larger for like gluing frames together and stuff. And I have two sets but I have a project coming up where I could use a couple more and they're really great for crafting and for two of them for a dollar is not a bad deal. So now I'll have eight and they're just little clamps. So if you're gonna glue something like with E6000, you can mash it together with these and it will just keep it until it dries and it won't move. And I love having these in my little toolbox for crafting. So I grabbed two more. Um, yeah, because they come in super handy for that. I'm working on painting. I just did my mantle in a garage door. Now I'm going to paint my front door um, at some point. I just got a new lock mechanism for it. And this is great. Just a little tiny pan. Um, and the roller's not bad either. And it comes with a brush and a glove. For $1, yes. And throw this stuff. Just, I just tossed the whole kit and caboodle. Except for the paintbrush, I do typically use that for crafting, but um, this little paint pan is great. And I use them fairly regularly when I'm painting smaller type stuff. So that I needed for householdy. Goodness, now would I use that to paint my whole house? No. Um, I got the last one of these. I, I like this just as good as E6000. Again, it's probably not as cost effective. This is not even a full ounce. However, when I buy the big jar or the big tubes of E6000, they dry up, the lid gets kooky, the bottle breaks, I get a crack. These are great. One little tube, I do what I need to do, and then I don't have to worry about, sorry, hair's messy today, it's humid. I don't have to worry about ruining an entire tube of E6000, and this stuff works just as good. So I grabbed one of those. I only saw one on the shelf and Christmas time is coming, which means a lot of DIYs, which means I need that. Right? Right. All right. Now I'm still working on um, pet gifts for their for my pet parents. And I grabbed these for my niece's dog. Um, they're pet wipes. She uses them on her little um, Luna Chihuahua Terrier blend. Paws, but. I mean, dogs are gross. Animals are gross. And these are great. You can use them on cats, too. Um, you get 35. They are fragrance-free, made with aloe. And, yeah, especially if we're, like, she's on the go with her dog fairly regularly. These are great. If she's outside, it's muddy, she needs to wipe her little paws before she gets in the car. So I grabbed her a pack of those. I found this tote in the black and white buffalo check. It's one of those um, you know, like little cubes. I think I'm going to build the dog, her dog's gift in this cube. And again, what I will probably do is cut a piece of foam core to go in the bottom to make it more sturdy and then put all the toys and treats and stuff I have for her dog in here. And then usually we split up the gifts and we leave for the dog. We leave stuff here. She takes stuff home just so I have some things for Luna here, which I have plenty. But so I saw those and picked them up. And then, please, guys, like what? I don't know if this is for my boys. I think it's going to be for my sister-in-law and brother's dog or cat. It's a hamburger and french fries. Cat toys. 
Like how adorable is that? And this is Cosmic Pets brand. So it's not Dollar Tree brand, but I'm thinking this is this is just too much for me to even handle. And listen, there's a little crinkle in the hamburger. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna give this to Tig, my brother and sister-in-law's cat, and her gift. So I did pretty good in the pet department today. Um, I found these Salon Effects. Um, they're nail wraps. And I have bought these before from the Dollar Tree, and they work pretty darn good. And I really like them. This one has words on it, and this one is just pink and black and red and I love them I've used them before and they stay on well and you know it's Sally Hansen is a decent brand and when I see them I tend to grab them um I just love this one I don't really know what the words are I mean I know the <laughs> I know what the words are but I don't know if it's a saying or what love letter it just says it's a love it's a love letter and that's what the nails will look like when I put them on on my nails they're like a color street or something, but I thought these are great. And these, again, great um, stocking stuffers, if you see these. I got a couple stocking stuffer things here, but these are great stocking stuffers for the ladies or guys that like to paint their nails in your life. Sally Hansen, name brand. Um, and while we're on the, sell or on the Dollar Tree um, stocking stuffer, these are drink straws. They are silicone collapsible it even comes with the uh, brush to clean them how awesome is that these are definitely stocking stuffers i keep a little box of stocking stuffers for my family and these are it um for sure so it is a portable uh drinking straw set eco-friendly easy to clean portable travel case it goes back in here and then it's reusable and this is a Greenbrier product. They came in white, blue, and black. Great stocking stuffer, especially if you have somebody on your list who's trying to reduce their carbon footprint or not use straws and all that. These are reusable and you can use them, clean them, and throw them right in your purse or your backpack. Or they can hang on your backpack. So I grabbed two of those. Again, more stocking stuffer ideas. And then I didn't get it much for Thanksgiving, um, but I did find these mugs. <laughs> I don't know how many ounces. I think these are 12 ounce tumblers, but it says Cherish. They had Cherish Faith. Um, you know, are they great? Heck no. Do they last through the season? Heck yeah. And I use them all the time. And then I got this one and it says pick up the patch and look at these pumpkins. They had a couple different ones. They had the red truck, but I'm kind of, yeah, yeah, with the red truck this year. But I love this. And again, they hold about 12, 14 ounces of hot coffee. It doesn't keep it very hot. But I love them. And think about this. If you're taking your kids out to look at the Christmas lights or for a ride because we're all cooped up, you can put a drink in these for them, like warm hot chocolate or whatever. And you know, they're not going to spill them in the car and they're a dollar. It's like what I think I might do with my cousins this year, if COVID is still a thing, we may end up going out looking for the lights and everybody will get a caught drink and I'll make cookies in the car and we'll listen to Christmas music. You know, and these are great. I know these are for fall, but the Christmas ones apparently will be out any day now because wait till you see what I've been hauling. Um, and then they're, I mean, I don't know that they're disposable, but they can be. I tend to not keep them from season to season because I'll use these like every day and then I just toss them at the end of, you know, when Christmas comes around. So I grabbed two because I drink a lot of coffee. And this is a repeat from last year, this pattern, but I loved it last year and I love it this year. And I just grabbed some napkins to have, you know, I like to put these with my lunch and stuff when I used to take my lunch. Now I don't, but you need napkins. So they also had the big tray in this, but I don't need a big tray this year. So I grabbed that. All right, where are we at? Think we're at Halloween, guys, and I don't have very much, but I did grab, look at this gift bag. Please tell me that's not amazing. And it is shiny on both sides. The skull, or the, yeah, the sugar skull is same color. I don't think on these there's anything on the side panels. There's not. And then the second bag that came with it, look at that. Is that not fun? 
I love these bags. And I just put them in a drawer, and when I need them, I grab one. But I think this is fun. If you have somebody with like an October birthday, or they love the Day of the Dead, this doesn't have to just be for Halloween. A lot of people like sugar skulls year round, but I thought that was super fun. So I grabbed that, and I grabbed two more bats. Uh, um, for my mantle, or not my mantle, for the front porch, or to take to my cousins. Remember, I said we we're having a little um, party for Hocus Pocus, so I might bring one to hang up at their house. I just love them. <laughs> Ooh, and I love the red eyes. Um, so yeah, definitely I'm hanging one or two on my front porch for sure. Now, um, I grabbed, I finally found it in gold, so I grabbed a, tr a small tray to bring treats. So like I said, there'll be maybe up to 10 of us, I think, will be the maximum. The four people that live there, Sarah and I, and possibly two friends. So we don't need big stuff, but I wanted to make a couple little treats, so I got a tray for that. Um, just And these are nice and sturdy trays, guys. This is a hard plastic. And you can spray paint these or do whatever, but I like the gold. So I grabbed those. So here's the deal. With COVID, and I'm making some, like, Chex Mix stuff, and we don't want everybody putting their hands in all the things. So what we're doing is I got these little bowls. OMG. So the purple one says Death by Candy, and you get four of these little cauldron bowls. And then the black says Happy Halloween. And then the orange says Trick or Treat. Now I only got one of each. I may need to go pick up one more of each um, because we are going to have some chocolate fondue. I'm making some trail mix. So I think we may need a couple extra, but the kids can just grab a bowl. I'll have a scoop in the trail mix and put your trail mix in your bowl and go eat it and come back and if you want more. But we're trying to avoid the hands in the, in the food. So I grab these. I may find some plates too. But yeah, I thought these are perfect for them. And they hold a fair amount. Oh, it doesn't say. But I would say this is a little over a cup. I would say this probably holds a cup and a half or a cup and a quarter. So that's perfect for that. I wouldn't say like soup or anything in it, but definitely cold. And Or you could just fill them with candy and set them out. But we're going to use them as individual serving platters or serving bowls for everything. So we did fall, Thanksgiving, Halloween, and guys, I'm not lying. Christmas is out. Now, I only grab the things that I don't already have to show you. I am by nowhere ready for decorating for Christmas, but I am shopping for Christmas. But, you know, uh, look at this table scatter. I just think it's adorable snowflakes christmas trees gold stars santa boots yeah it's glitter yeah it's gonna get everywhere but who cares that's what christmas is about i'm all about the glitter life for christmas so i grabbed one bag of christmas scatter and then they had which i never have seen this before it's ornament filler for the plastic ornaments they sell look at that gold and then the copper and silver glitter that is some big glitter, guys. Think about like hole punch size. That's around, and then the gold is octagons, I think. And then we have the copper, gold, and silver stars. I'm thinking this is um, pocket letters. I remembered it for pocket letters or for shaker cards, any kind of craft. I mean, they're designed to fill up in ornaments. And then they had. Uh, red, white, and green. And that's a lot of sequins. You get a fair amount in there. So I grabbed one of each. I didn't grab any of the ornaments. I feel like I have some upstairs, but I wanted to grab the filler to show you. So I grabbed that. Um, I did not ever see these last year. Now, they may have had these out, but not at my store. These little mini Christmas trees, which I love crafting with. And you get eight of these tiny little trees in here. So I grabbed two packages of those. I use them a lot. I like them a lot. And they're the little bottle brushes. And you can hot glue them on anything. So I grabbed two packs of those. These will just go in my crafting bin. 
Um, I feel like I might have seen these last year, but I didn't get any. But they had um, glitter letters. Now, this is a glitter balm. So this will get sealed with some spray seal it. I've been buying the aerosol can of spray sealant to seal some stuff and I think this is going to get a coat of that because it keeps it shiny. I feel like sometimes when I seal it with Mod Podge it makes it flat. Um, but So I got one. But you could spell words with these. Um, yeah, so I thought they were fun. I just got an S because, you know, that's what I do. Um, they have the Color Your Own Ornaments. Okay, this is Mary with a buckhead as the Y. I'm sorry, what? Who are you, Dollar Tree? And you get a pack of five. Oh my goodness, how fun would this be to have a little decorating party with some family or friends and you can paint your own ornaments? So I grabbed those. Also, I think these would be fabulous gift tag holders. You know, put them on the packages. Um, and this is gonna be a theme with the deer head because they have the big sign that says Mary and the Y again is the deer head. Um, they also had peace and the A was a Christmas tree, but I didn't get that. I think this will be enough for me. Um, it just says Mary in the buckhead. I'm excited to see what I can come up with to paint that. But it's, I mean, this is a fairly good size and I know these sit on their own. So I grabbed one of those. Oh, I'm sorry for fall. They've had these out in years past, but I like this coppery color. It's gonna go on my shelf in the kitchen and listen. That little leaf is metal. Sorry, I digress. And then the last thing I got, again, who are you, Dollar Tree? Look at this house. It's like burnt, the edge, the details burnt in, the windows are out, the wreath, the snow. What? Like I am painting this. So I'm thinking about getting a cup, you know, a bunch of different designs and having a painting day with my niece and my cousins because we all like to craft. And I thought the kids would enjoy painting their own signs. Glitter up here. You could even take some of this filler and glue it on as snow on the top here. How fun would that be? Okay, everybody, that is it for my Dollar Tree haul. I told you it was huge. But I hope I gave you some ideas and you found some things that you need to go find as well. Like, hello, these... Hello, these little bowls. Oh, think about them, just full of goodies. Caramel corn. All right, everybody, well, I hope you enjoy and you have a fantastic day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.